Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Well, I'll give you a little report from the money show over in Las Vegas. The most startling thing to me, folks, I haven't done this for eight years. I've done them since eight, 1989. I've done 23 of them, and I did, haven't done any for eight years, and they asked me to come over and do uh, one more show there in Las Vegas. So I did go and uh, went through the place, and I was really amazed, folks, how many people came up uh, to talk to me. And it was mainly because they listened to TFNN. I mean, it was really heartwarming to do that. I, I have a lot of students from Las Vegas, and they came by to say hello. In fact, a few of them attended the uh, the talk that I gave, but uh, the real joy was to see how many people uh, listened to it. I had the same experience six years ago uh, in Kiev, uh, uh, Ukraine, because uh, we had a big Forex uh, uh, tra trading day there for two days. Tom Hugard and I put it on, and I must have had at least 10 or 12 people. I mean, they barely, barely speak English, but they listen to the TFNN show. I mean, and, and not just me. I mean, they listen to other. They listen to the other folks too. So it was really, uh, it was really heartwarming to see how how far the reaching uh, arm of TFNN goes. So it was is really quite nice. I started the show uh, talking about. A B C D's and Fibonacci, and you know the usual thing about Pythagoras and Fibonacci, where the numbers come from, from Al Jazeera, how we converted regular uh, Arabic numbers into arithmetic numbers, and how the evolution of that started, and how the charts were built, you know, by the squares and circles and di and diagonals and triangles uh, that Bryce Gilmore taught me, and uh, then we we focused on a few stocks. Uh, people, I showed them examples, of course, of A B C D, and of course they were. Uh, very skeptical and so I let them uh, pick stocks that they wanted to and I said you're going to see these patterns and anything two stocks I'd never even heard of I don't even remember the symbols, actually, folks. Uh, they both started with a T, but I can't remember after that. But they picked two that were just – they were ETFs, but they just had perfect ABCDs all over the place. And that sort of got their attention, and uh, that was uh, really a lot of fun. And then we uh, – they also wanted to talk about the stock market, uh, and we, we did a little bit of that, which I'll share with you here in a little bit. But uh, that's really what we were looking at. Now, uh, I posted a chart here of Apple because that was one of the things that everybody seems to be owning that stock and they wanted to see where we were with it and I was showing them this hourly chart you know the 1.618 expansion was up there at 157 uh, and also you know we just had a 135 pattern you can see the down sloping diagonal line uh, was a 135 pattern then yesterday we made the 382 retracement but what was important about that is that we were in the midst of that Apple meeting yesterday and that should have been extremely bullish and it was not assumed bullish because the market went from 151 down to 146 and the target on that is at 144 you can see the 1.618 expansion to the downside on that so we were looking at numbers and trying to get you know people's attention and and you know we only had about an hour but uh, it was still fun and they had a lot of questions and so it went uh, pretty well it was so nice to see you know people that I've trained over the years come in and they could have actually given the lecture as easy as I could have because it uh, they've been doing it for such a, a very very long time so um, let's take a quick look here at a couple other things that we wanted to focus on this was one that we were looking at Yesterday, this was the, uh, excuse me, let's try this again, Larry. This was the one for today. We had, a, there's the three drive to a bottom pattern in the bonds. This is an hourly chart. You can see it's a perfect ABCD pattern coming in down there at 61.23. You make an ABCD pattern to the upside at 164.20. That was the sale point. You're risking about 10 ticks on that, and it's already made $1,000. Now, the question that someone asked me this morning uh, that was actually putting this trade on was, uh, how do I figure out what the profit objective is? Well, remember, when you put these things on, you never know what's going to happen next. That's an absolute given. So what you have to do, to do is assume the worst and figure out how much your risk is going to be. On a trade like this, it's about 12 ticks, so $360. So if you make $360 on this and you're trading multiple contracts, you can take one of them off at $360 profit and let the other one run at break-even. Now, 
let's assume the, that you don't trade multiple contracts, that you're going to do just the one that gives you the most profit. So what you have to do is, as soon as it gets to a $360 profit, you have to put your stop at break even or at least lower it down to the previous high. That reduces the amount of risk that you have. And that's exactly what could have happened today because the market went from 164.24 all the way down to 164 even. That's a $600 uh, move that you would have had double what your original risk was. And so what you have now is you've got a situation that you just either put your stop at break even and let it go. And if you look at this ABCD pattern, the last time we had a BC swing, we went from 163 down to 162 and a half. That's that's a, a handle and a half. So you would expect the you would expect the bonds to get about 163.20. And I think we hit that as we were just talking just a few minutes ago that we went down to it. Now the the set the seventy four dollar question is seventy four thousand dollar question is what if I want to keep it for a longer time and you can certainly do that, but now what you've done is you book three times what your risk is so you certainly under no circumstances would you ever ever take a loss on this trade I mean that would be that would be uh, the first mistake teaches the second mistake kills and you don't want to do that so you've got to focus on how much money you have at risk and then also how much money uh, you know you uh, have it in your hand because once once you sell it at 164.20 and it's trading at 163.20, that thousand dollars is yours, folks. I know it's on paper, but that's still yours. So you've got to remember that. So don't let these. If you get a big profit like this, don't let it go to a loss because it can happen, and it's not a very warm feeling when it does, and it will happen. But uh, you do your best not to do that. But it's repeating what it did before between the tenth, ninth, and tenth. It's doing exactly the same thing. It's just moving right down into that. Uh, segment of uh, you know correction taking it down to about 163.14. Uh, That's what I would be uh, looking at uh, in the Treasury bonds for today. So I hope that answers Jeff's question out of Pennsylvania, because, excuse me, New Jersey, because he did have that question and he wanted it answered. We've got a couple of charts that are really interesting here today. By the way, we're going to have Shane Smolian as our as a quick cameo guest here at uh, 12:30. He's going to pop in and talk to us a little bit. And I've got some new guests coming up next week. Uh, we're going to have Jeff Cooper. Uh, he is a uh, student from, oh, many years, a good friend out of California. His father was a uh, really avid trader. That's what Jeff got interested in. He's a really incredible technician. He does a lot of really good GAN work. And uh, some of the very best, actually, is if you want to know the truth. So you'll think, uh, you'll, think have, you'll enjoy that show. That'll be next week sometime. We had Joe DiNapoli on yesterday, and unfortunately, uh, we only had a 45-minute segment because if he'd have gone five minutes more i think we would have been in trouble because he got he got up on his pulpit and was really uh, bashing uh, everybody anybody that was uh, in the news or anything and he just he's uh, very skeptical about what's going on in the market out and extremely nervous as he should be because these markets are extended and uh, he's a little uh, suspect so we'll be right back 877-927-6648 fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, okay, folks, I posted the chart of the E-mini S&P, a 15, uh, hourly chart, happened to be right during the time when I was giving the speech yesterday, and you'll notice that the high that we made yesterday was an exact, to the tick, 382 retracement of the high that we made back there at 1550. Now, the reason why that is important is I was trying to show the harmony that's in the S&P 500. That was, people seem to be wanting to focus on that, but if you go back to the 9th, of September, you'll see we had a very strong rally. We went from 44.80 all the way up to 45.25. It was a 45-point rally. Well, if you look at the rally that we had on the 14th, it was exactly 45 points. In other words, it repeated itself. And then if you look at that SH, that was part of a head and shoulders pattern that failed. If that SH pattern, if you look at that, did exactly the same thing. It was repeating over and over again. This I focused on using the work of Dr. Andrew Lowe and his book book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. I went a little bit further here today because I wanted to show you the importance of where we are on the 14th and 15th uh, of uh, September here in the market. And if you look here uh, at this next chart that I'm going to bring you up, which is a four-hour chart of the S&P, you're going to see something that looks very interesting here. You'll notice that we've made an exact to the penny 61% retracement down there at 424. And that's a, a beautiful ABCD. That's that same pattern that we were just discussing on the hourly chart. That's a, a blow-up version of it. And so the difference is, folks, I would like for you to follow me here. If you look at the low that we made on the 10th, we had a huge rally. The market rallied uh, from uh, 44, 43, another 45 points. And then it came down on the 11th. Uh, 12th and then rallied another 45 points and now on the 14th it's not doing that you notice that it's taken this is a four hour chart so it's taken a whole day and we can't even get higher than the 382 of at 4448 that's not a good sign this market's got to get started to the upside the one thing i feel relatively strongly about and that is if the market does break below that 4425 now uh that's telling us that we're going to be going a whole lot lower uh, in the market. But so far, it is just a normal correction in a bull market. We've had a very strong correction. As a matter of fact, I heard on the news today on Bloomberg, this is the, the historic 
move down in Facebook. It's the first time it's had a, a six-day correction, I believe, or something like that. It was a historic thing that it hadn't gone into a period where it had, had done that in since its inception, I guess. I, I, all I know, it was supposed to be historic. I didn't pay too much attention to it because I'm not a social media advocate, nor do I have any interest in uh, Facebook at all. And you know what? Facebook doesn't have any interest in me either. So that's about it. Someone asked a question about the crowd that was there, a very, very large crowd in Las Vegas. It was at Bally's Hotel, and there there were a lot of people. All the booths were taken by vendors, and there were a lot of people going around. There were no more you know, hats and T-shirts and stuff like they used to give out in the old days. But uh, there was a good crowd, and the, it was really – it was very, very interesting. Um, the uh, you too can be monetized by the f Facebook machine. I don't think so, Bo. I'm just an old cowboy, just trying to keep my head above water. And fortunately, uh, I have a life preserver, so that's the main thing. Now let's take a look at a couple of real interesting charts that were fo focused sent to us by our good friend Mike up in Canada. And I wanted to show you these because these are done by someone else, but they're very interesting charts. Here's one just on the S&P 500, a simple chart, but you can see here. Over the past month or so, you've got these three down days and continued rally. There was one, two, three, four of them. This one, not the same. We've been down six days. Now, we're right at major support there at that 61% retracement. So that's the important part to look at. But this is, this is how the market repeats itself over and over again. So I think it's important to look at that. Now, Mike was kind enough to send us another one that uh, I really enjoyed looking at, and that is the re relationship. And we've seen this from our good friend Stan Harley, and we'll have Stan on next week also, along with Jeff Cooper. You'll notice here the advanced decline line is diverging badly, and it has been for quite some time, and now it's starting to really roll over. So uh, we need to be, be uh, aware of that because these markets have been basically vertical for a very, very long time. I posted the chart of lumber, and uh, what happened to lumber? I know lumber is not the stock market, but, you know, it's a technical market, and that's what can happen when markets get overbought and when markets get oversold. One has to prepare yourself for that. If you'll just remember the chart that we had from our good friend Jim Bartolioni last week, uh, you'll be able to see that we have this basically vertical, you know, move all the way up here that's made the target here in the NASDAQ with that giant ABCD pattern that took five years to complete. So that's a big, big pattern. Another pattern that uh, we've mentioned, and I still want to keep it in your head because we came within 99% of making all of these targets here in the S&P, folks. The green target, the gold target, the blue target, and the and the red target were at 46.10. We got to 46.50. That's 99% 90, of that move is 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 possibly complete. Now, could it be going higher? Absolutely. And could it go above the 4610? Absolutely. But right now, it's not doing that. So we have to work with the information that we're dealing with. And that's the most important thing. Now, I did mention the last time on the show, the importance of the open interest that has happened in the uh, S&P. And as we get this up here, you'll be able to see here, We've had a huge move. Look at August 19th, folks. The open interest was $2 million. Okay, now here we are in September 13th and 14th and 15th, and it's gone to $3 million. 200,000. That's a huge increase, folks. Nowhere will you see an increase like this. Now, you got to ask yourself, I mean, this is big time because you're buy everybody that's buying it over these last few days has, uh, you know, they've been selling into a bear market, selling into a bear market. So if markets are right and going down, let's put the put the open interest chart up. You'll be able to see this. We, we're assuming we're assuming now that the uh, the smart money has done this, but we don't know for sure. Uh, OK. OK, I, I see that is daily volume. I understand that. But if you'll notice here, you're, if you have falling prices and a rising open interest, that means the market is weak. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing that today. You know, we, we've made that low down there at the 61% retracement yesterday with virtually no, no movement to the upside. That, to me, is a bearish phenomenon. And I think uh, it's worthy of our... Uh, you know, keep that in mind. Now, I wanted to, uh, before we get off on another tangent here, I wanted to show one other thing uh, from one other chart that someone sent us, and that is how many stocks are actually, uh, you know, going down versus going up. 
And you'll notice here that even though the S&P 500 index has been going up, the, there's a lot of stocks that are rolling over. And uh, remember, the S&P 500 is only 500 stocks, and actually it's only about 100 stocks because they're all, they're all cap-weighted. And so uh, when you got lower-priced stocks, they can pull the market, uh, you know, make that index look a little bit lower. But you got to do one thing at a time. The one thing I focused on was the fact that gambling and speculation were totally different. And if you just focus on what the prices are doing, you're going to be just fine because if they're going up, they're going to be buying it, and if they're going down, they're going to be selling it. That's all you have to know. Try to fit that within your program of what you're looking at. And then finally, we're going to have a little break here. When we come back, I want to talk to you about this trade that we were looking at just about three days ago during that report that was coming out in wheat. We had a beautiful 135 pattern in wheat exactly at the 61%. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have the wolf man himself on, the wolf trader, Shane Smolian. Shane, how are you today? Good afternoon, Larry. How are you doing? 
Oh, just living the dream. Shane, we've got a question from one of our listeners right off the bat, and that is regarding the Bradley model. Uh, we've had you know, Norm Winsky as a guest before, and he follows it you know, pretty much uh, as it was done in the book. Now, as I understand it, you have lots of variations of that. It, can you explain to the folks what you do with that type of model? That is a really good question. I use uh, an optimized Bradley uh, that basically looks back at a certain time period and then will optimize the planets that are working better at certain times. In a general market, when you're not getting really emotional moves, uh, I think that the optimized Bradley can be very good. But I think what we're looking at right now is the planetary speed index. This is what I, I think is the most important thing because when you have a situation that we have right now uh, where you could start to see an acceleration in the selling, I think the planetary speed index is more accurate in those emotional situations. Uh, but the Bradley can be very good in a, in a in kind of a calm market. I just like the planetary speed index much more when you see a situation in the S&P that – that could accelerate to the downside. And I think that's what we might see this month. Okay, go ahead, my friend. You've got the mic and would like to hear what you have to say. Sure, so we'll start here with Apple. Uh, I thought this was really interesting because Apple had made many surges at a high end to here. Uh, it, it made, it made you know, four, three or four different attempts here at a high. Actually, the first one came back into here. Uh, so it makes this first one, the second one, this third one. And then on the fourth one, it breaks out looks like it's breaking out and then it just collapses back down here so i think technology is an important thing to watch the fed juice did pick this up on 91 it's been in a cell since september the first apple is coming into some type of a cycle high actually here so apple could see some more issues coming up here so uh, I, I always like to look at technology because if you're going to get trouble the technology almost always has to lead on the way down so i i watch apple and this is one of the the stocks that we do cover, uh, but the Fed use has been modeling this very well. It did, it did pick this up, and it looked for a while like this was going to be wrong. It looked like it was posturing to break out, but the Fed use was ended up being correct on that. And then, of course, we had that uh, that news with the courts and the the uh, the, the, the in per, in app purchases that caused that big move down. But um, we were able to see that too with the 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 lunar cycle here was decreasing along with the four to six day cycle. So uh, things were, mo were basically functioning as they should. But in terms of the broader base picture, I like to look at, uh, I just like to look at these tech stocks too. Now, I have another slide here, which looks at the US dollar. I think this is important to look at uh, on, the, on the short term here. It looks as if the dollar is trying to base to go higher. Uh, we have two buy signals here on the dollar. So to me, this this is a situation that would be bearish for the S&P 500. If the U.S. dollar does start to rally here, and I think it's got some room here to go, I think we could go maybe till the end of the month. If it does rally to the upside, that could put downside pressure on gold. It could put downside pressure on Bitcoin. It could put downside pressure on uh, equities, too. So the dollar is really an important key to watch, and this double lunar cycle here has been picking up these turns very nicely uh, since about early August. Have we been really getting this fine-tuned? And this this does go into this buy right now, and this is going to be in a buy probably till about 9:30 into here. So if the dollar does rally, that's going to create headwinds for equities. Now, equities in general, I have my third slide here. Equities in general are starting to come back to the Fed juice. I talked about this since uh, July, uh, that the Fed juice was pulling back here, uh, and, the, and the equities always come back to this at some point. It did take a while. Uh, we had one fit here where it, it, it rolled over, then it kind of crawled up, it rolled over again, and now it's crawling back. The difference on this one, though, is if you look at the price action, there's been a series of gaps up that have failed. Uh, there have been a lot of candle patterns that it, it starts it starts up, you know, it opens up and then it closes lower. Or you see a situation like this where it kind of goes up and then it fails down. When you start to see these candle patterns, what's happening is that there's bu buyers trying to come in. And for whatever reason, <clears throat> the market is not able to continue through to the upside. Now, I think this is largely due to what's going on with the Fed right now. They are pulling back. And we did see the ECB talk about uh, tapering, too. So these two together, I think, are creating a situation where we, we could see some more selling on the S&P 500. 
And then as we get through September, uh, the situation uh, looks more and more dire as we get through. Now, this is a, a this is definitely a good start uh, for a, for a continued move lower. Uh, as you know, things don't go in a straight line. I think we might be coming into a short term low tomorrow. And then early next week, I think we'll probably go right back into the selling again on the S&P. Uh, but uh, to me, this looks like it has the potential to move much lower. And as long as the Fed is just not really making any effort here to ramp this juice up, as long as this is still in a decline, uh, then this market has the potential to keep moving lower. Wow, this is really interesting. Do you see any date? This is another question, by the way. Do you see any date in the future, this astrologically, that might be related to a crash date, similar to like what we had in October of uh, 1987? Well, there there are a lot of signatures at the end of this month uh, when we get around that Mercury station. The planetary speed index is falling. There's a lot of factors converging right at the end of this month and going into next month. So I would be looking towards the end of this month and and to me that is it's it's set up right now we'll see what happens but as long as this fed the fed is kind of pulling back here i think there is the potential for for selling and those dislocations tend to happen around those mercury stations if you look back at those major crashes if you look at 87 if you look at 2000 if you look at the flash crash if you look at the 2008 all of those were within three days of the mercury station so that that wow. scenario is setting up again, but we we still need a, a lot more to happen before we get there. But it is definitely on its way. How about you being a guest when that gets ready to happen? Absolutely. Please let Sounds me great. alert me to that, and we'll love to have you on. That's for sure. C continue, please. I'm just bringing questions to you that I see uh, people sure. are asking, and I just wanted to let you know that they're coming up. So go right ahead. Sure. No, that's just basically it. So as the month accelerates. Uh, the situation deteriorates from an astrological standpoint uh, and a cycle standpoint, and then also the Fed is in play here. So when we put all of these factors together, uh, you know, the, 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 the potential is there. And then the dislocations, like I said, tend to happen around that Mercury station. Uh, Mercury rules motion in general, anything that's moving. So when Mercury is in a station, uh, the markets, which are based upon data flow and movements and, and, you know, communications, when that gets disrupted or slows down, you tend to get falling prices. And it's just, you can go back through history and study this. It's There's not one exception to any major crash that has not not happened outside of that that situation. So that's what we're wow. watching. Oh, that's good. By the way, when you come back uh, for next time, be sure to bring your religious and political beliefs uh, with you <laughs> because we had our good friend uh, Joe DiNapoli on yesterday and Joe vented the, he vented the room. Let me tell you, I, I've known I've known him 50 years, but gosh, he's really gone off the the deep end. Well, he's, uh, he's I think he's becoming recluse if you want to know the truth, but uh, he was fun and he had a lot of good stuff, but uh, he sure had weird political views. Hey, thanks for joining us, buddy. We'll have you thanks, on again Larry. soon, okay? Don't forget that. Everybody. Triple Everybody. thing. We want to have you on then. You bet. Shane Smolian, folks. Wolftrader.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, after we had Shane on the line, we've had a nice rally going here in the S&P. We said we really needed to see it make a little bit more of a rally of coming off that 61% retracement, and we're starting to do that. But the key number to watch for, folks, is 4480, because that's a 382 of the high yesterday, or excuse me, the high yesterday was 4480, which was the 382 of that move uh, down. And so what we've done now is I believe we recovered 78% uh, of that. Let's just double check. No, we're at 71% right now. So the 78% of that move yesterday would bring the market right up to uh, 70, uh, 4468. So we're with about five points of that. But we've had a big run here of about in the last half hour we've ran 20 points in the S&P which it you know was coming off the the bottom and also if way above the opening price which is also important so that was giving you some indication that these markets uh, was a little oversold and we are making that correction as we see it going on right now uh, the thing that I'll be watching here is uh, you want to watch the 382 of this whole move which will be uh, be just a little bit above the 44 uh, 80 level you want to watch that tomorrow I'll have that done in a new video for us. Uh, by the way, I posted a video in TFNN in the den today, and if you wanted to look at it, uh, you'll be able to see it. That was a video that showed the 382 uh, on the upside and the three drive pattern on the downside and what we were looking at for as a potential rally uh, coming in today. We've had a huge move here in uh, natural gas here, folks, over the past couple hours. Uh, we went all the way from 50, uh, excuse me, 590 all the way down to 530. That's a huge move, folks. I mean, that's a, that's 30, excuse me, 566 down to 530. That's 36 handles. That's $3,600 uh, for a move in the in the natural gas. So it was uh, it's really amazing because it's been uh, it's been really wild. I guess it's related to hurricane, but we'll let the trading gods find out what that is. Now, I've got some interesting charts here. All also sent to us by our good friend Mike up in Canada. And one of them is from uh, Harry Dent. Harry's been around for a long time. And uh, he is saying that we're in the process of uh, seeing something really bad happening in the uh, Chinese market because of credit. I want to post this chart. You'll see this is the Chinese uh, builder. Uh, it's called uh, Evergrande. You notice that the price of their bonds have dropped 75%. Uh, that's a low grade, a low grade bond, of course. But he also f furnished a chart that about major crashes in the uh, the bond market. Now this is high yield bonds, also known as junk bonds. Anybody that's ever heard of Drexel Burnham Lambert knows what that means. But you can see here, back in 2007, the market dropped 60 down to 61.5, which is a 42% correction. And you'll see where we are now over the past 10 years. 
uh, well, it's actually been 13 years, we've made lower tops up here at 885. And if this thing starts to break, you can see where we could go with these things. This could really be very, uh, very ominous. We need to pay attention to that. When you see the market that we had in this, our regular bonds, and uh, no, that's true, Mr. Bill. Uh, Harry Dent has not seen many things po uh, positive. But, you know, years ago, he was the 30,000 uh, Dow man. I mean, he, of course, he... He, he he abandoned that when it uh, when it went down to uh, uh, 6600. You know, I think I believe it was 1980. Uh, that was the 87 crash. Uh, no, that was the that was the low of the uh, uh, of the uh, the 89 the uh, uh, two, 2009 bottom. So that's it. No, no, I don't do that. And then also, you know, I we I worked with Mark Faber at Drexel. He was in the Hong Kong office, and I was. Uh, in the uh, LA office, but the uh, you know Mark made a made a living on doom or gloom, and he's very successful. Uh, he's uh, you know Mark does a lot of gold and silver trading and stuff, and he does stock trading too. But you know he's no dummy. You know just because he's bearish for a long time or a short time, he trades in between. So when you see these guys out there, they they don't always. Uh, you know what they're doing and what they're saying might be different things, and and that's true of me too because I might I might turn bullish on the stocks uh, soon. But I, I thought there were going to be a rally today just because of the three drive to a bottom pattern, and the fact that we were extremely oversold. What I'm going to be watching now, being a Wednesday, I'd like to see a three day rally Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that's what I want to see. I want to see if we get the old A B C D working on that, and then that's what I want to be acting on as we as we look at some of these uh, as we go forward. So. I think those are a few things. We've got a lot of things happening in a lot of these markets. Now, I posted that wheat chart because I thought that was a really beautiful pattern that we had here. I sent this out uh, last week. And uh, even a broken clock is right twice a day, Marshall. You're absolutely correct. We've had a really nice 30-some uh, cent rally here. Uh, it only went against you about three cents. And uh, that's a big move now, but it's uh, very strong coming out of here. So you got to respect that. There's nothing to do if you're long to eat, you know, find out where you want to take a profit or, you know, the worst situation, put your stop at break even down there at uh, 682, 683, and then let it rip. I would actually raise it up a little bit to maybe 692 just to protect uh, at least $500. Right now you have $1,500 in it if you did that trade. And that's it. You can see the three drive to a top pattern here back in between January, May, and then also uh, into August. And that's a perfect A, B, C, D again. You know, it's really amazing, folks, when you give a lecture like I did in Las Vegas to a room full of people, and none of them have ever, well, there were some people in there, of course, seen A, B, C, D, because they were my students. But uh, you, you, people had never seen it before. They're actually amazed. And then say, well, try my stock. And then you look at that, and well, none of them have ever seen it before. They never paid attention to look at a chart. To see that that's what it's doing all day long, because that's all that's doing. That's what Mandelbrot said. He said there's a little seed in there that makes this thing work, and that's the ABCD pattern. And when you stop and think that uh, Mr. H.M. Gartley, Harold McKinley Gartley, he did this in 1937, and he charged $1,500 for his book. It was probably cheap at that time. That was a cost of three Ford automobiles. You could have bought three Model A's at that time. And so, uh, anyway, those are. Uh, those are th some of the things from the history that we want to remember where we are. Okay, it's just squiggly lines. You're absolutely right, Bo. Sometimes they mean something, sometimes they don't. But we know mathematically they're correct. But Dr. Andrew Lowe has certainly proven that mathematically in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. There's one other chart that I posted last week that I still think you have to pay really close attention to, folks. This is the Fed chart about liquidity. And you notice that the velocity of money is dropping. Folks, you cannot have inflation with the velocity of money dropping. That's a very, very important thing to remember. Let's see if we have a uh, – oh, uh, Z is asking. Uh, it, was, it was sponsored by the Money Show in uh, Sarasota, Florida. Um, they've been doing it uh, – well, they've been doing it 20 – Five, uh, 22, 23 years. Jim Borkman and excuse me, Tim Borkman and Jim Sugarman started it in in uh, January of uh, 1990 in Los Angeles. That was the original one that I did, and then I did most of them. That's where I met Tom O'Brien. Was in the O2 uh, Money Show in uh, New York City at Times Square, and that's when you could still believe me, folks. We were at Times Square, and we could still smell the diesel fuel from. Uh, from uh, ground zero. I mean, it was, uh, wow, it was flat out scary. I mean, it was, 
not a good time, but that's it, neither here nor there. We're going to take a little break, and we'll get right back, and uh, we'll be uh, ready to go uh, for tomorrow's show. Uh, no guests tomorrow and uh, no guests Friday, but uh, I, I do have some information that I wanted to share. We want to cover some Forex stuff. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I want to chat just a little bit about the gold market because uh, there's a lot of people, you know, uh, in the world that thinks gold is going to go to 3,500 and stuff like that, and it's certainly possible to do that. But before it does that, we've got to start seeing some really good type of uh, action in the uh, gold miners index and boy we have seen anything but that type of action i wanted to bring this up here to your this fact we happen to be short the gold from uh, 1808 uh, we're going to be covering it here tonight but you'll notice here if we get this up here you'll be able to see this is the gold miner uh 
GDX, which is a gold and silver miners. You'll see that we had the rally on the 26th. Uh, it was equal to the rally that we had here on the 7th. And basically, we've come down and we've basically been going nowhere over the last three days. This is not a bullish chart, folks. In order for it to get bullish, it's got to get above 35. We're trading at 32.24 right now. Gold is still acting bullish. We've got a very, very important number in the gold market. Those of you that uh, follow the 24-7 uh, newsletter, uh, I posted that with a video last night. And uh, it, it's very, very important to watch that number that we're talking about as we as we look at it, because that's going to be the telltale sign of gold's got legs or not. Remember, gold can go up without the GDX. That could happen. But it's not easy for it to happen, but it certainly can happen. That means that the gold is in strong hands and they've got people trapped the wrong way. And if that happens, then uh, Katie barred the door because uh, these things could really accelerate. And we've seen gold and silver accelerate rapidly. And it's due mainly because the shorts have to cover and they're not having much protection. And that's what makes the market move. We're not going to see that until we at least get the gold above 1840. Uh, then we've got a chance. And silver's got to get above $26 an ounce. And then we got a chance in the silver. But on the downside, we got some really important support coming up here. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and help your neighbors the best you can. Uh, there's a lot of people in Vegas that are hurting, folks, but there's other places in the world. We'll see you all tomorrow. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most.